yo everyone i hope that you're all great as always i hope you like my little christmas lights here which have been lamely thrown on the side just for the sake of this video they're actually going to go around my little tree soon so yeah merry christmas woo all right so the video itself gerard cosmetics is a american brand they some are how are affiliated or are part of the same company as whitening lightning i don't quite get the correlation there um whitening lightning basically do teeth whitening i have bought some of the uh, color your smile lip glosses from whitening lightning themselves before but this order was directly with gerard cosmetics i did not get a customs charge with gerard cosmetics whereas i did with whitening lightning don't get it weird and i took advantage of their black friday free international shipping so and i got the stuff quite quickly and i'm very impressed um with how fast i got it from dispatch email to me getting it was something like four or five days so again great um there are all kinds of discount codes for these lipsticks around if you look on instagram go to gerard cosmetics uh instagram page there's all kinds of beauty youtubers who've got 15 percent discount 20 percent discount if you enter their name jacqueline hill most definitely will because she has created two lipsticks with them the lipsticks themselves so here is my little haul i bought five of their lipsticks and they look like this they come in these lovely shiny golden tubes they don't have a case they came literally just in these tubes like this nice sturdy kind of packaging not cheap at all and it just literally says gerard cosmetics on the actual tube i got five lipsticks and uh, i got all dolled up nude buttercup cherry cordial and 1995 now because i only got these at the beginning of the week i've used three of them so far and so i like to think that maybe i can give a good enough review on these so the first one i'm going to show you is the one that i'm actually wearing on my lips so i don't have to do a lip swatch i'm going to do lip swatches with all of them and i'm not going to use lip liner but just as an fyi disclaimer sort of thing i always wear lip liner always it'll be very rare that i'm not wearing lip liner um because it defines the shape of my lips it keeps your lipstick from bleeding it uh, can change the color of your lipstick slightly if that's what you're looking to do i'm actually wearing nude and i'm wearing it with max oak lip liner which has given it a very nice kind of look it hasn't really changed up the color much and it looks like that it's a lovely kind of caramel nude sort of shade really really gorgeous and it looks like that and i've been wearing it pretty much all day now so far i have to say in terms of the texture of these actual lipsticks themselves i would put them along in comparison to mac because that's the easiest way i can describe them is like a mixture between matte and satin so it's not too glossy but it's glossy enough it's not too matte but it's matte enough if that makes sense so you can see on my lips it's not shiny or anything but it's not so matte that it'll start to crack after a while i didn't really see any cracking and maybe of a, li a little bit on all dolled up it's settled within my lip lines but then this one i've been wearing it for mm, about seven hours i've touched it once and that's because i was sitting in the hairdressers uh drinking tea and talking and other stuff so it just kind of worn away a bit but this color itself is absolutely gorgeous i think it'll suit all skin tones and i have to say that about all of these colors so far if you're very very dark skinned all you have to do is maybe wear a slightly darker lip liner put this on in the middle it'll create a beautiful ombre nude lip as well for you and it will definitely look great on um medium asian skin tones and fairer skin tones as well okay lipstick off the next one i'm going to show you is all dolled up and this is a bright bright pink this i would say is a very good dupe for candy yum yum by mac as you guys know hate me or not i'm not actually a big fan of candy yum yum and when i say i'm not a fan it's not of the color it's of the texture itself it's too matte it cracks it doesn't look good so this one was a really nice change to have to wear this as you can see it's got a slight sheen to it so again all of these are very similar in texture as far as i've seen they're kind of matte glossy but not too matte 
they're very comfortable to wear on the lips as well so now I'm going to show you me applying all dolled up um, I wore this the other day I wore this with an OCC hoochie lip liner I think it was hoochie uh, a bright pink basically So that is all dolled up and this is how it looks on me. As you can see, looks really, really nice. Doesn't go really that nicely with the makeup that I'm wearing, but it's not supposed to because obviously I was wearing nude to begin with. But this is all dolled up. And the good thing about these is that they're very long wearing and they leave a nice stain behind. This one left a beautiful kind of like just bitten just kissed kind of stain behind so I really like that about these plus because they are kind of half glossy half matte uh, half satin half matte they don't need to be touched up as much you don't have to worry about them as much coming off plus they feel really comfortable they're not sticky they're not like like some very matte sort of lipsticks they can crack they can feather I don't find that that really happened with this. I did have to top it up after a couple of hours because the colour did start to fade slightly. But that's kind of normal when you expect if you're at work or day or whatever you're doing. You're eating, you're drinking, you're talking, you know, wipe your hand on your mouth, whatever it is. So anyway, this is all dolled up. Okay, you can see that my lips are totally stained from that lipstick now. And I've put a little bit of foundation over it. Alright, another one that I'm going to show you is one that I actually, was the first one that I used before I wear the ones which I haven't used. And this one is called Buttercup. It's one of the lipsticks that was created by Jaclyn Hill. And it's basically a gorgeous baby pink sort of nude. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous lipstick. I think this will work again on all skin tones. It is just the perfect pink nude. Like the other one is the perfect peachy warm caramel brown sort of shade. This one is the perfect pink version of that. And I actually wore this with her lip gloss which is buttercream and it looked amazing. I wore it with Sore Lip Liner by MAC the other day and it looked great. There we go. So this one is Buttercup. And that's how it looks swatched. I would say that out of these, these three that I've used, this one is probably the more comfortable, more glossy one. This one is less matte, more of a satin. So you can see how easily it glided across the lips as well compared to the other ones which were tugging slightly more. So I would say this one is probably better than the others. But on the same sense, this one tends to wear off a lot quicker than the others because this one is not as matte as the other ones. God, all that rubbing and swatching, I swear to God, I don't know what I'm going to do if I do the NYX Butter Lipstick swatches for you guys because I've about 15 of those. This is just five and my lips are starting to get sore. I know, I'm such a whinger. I am the one who chose to do this. Okay, the next one is 1995 and this is the latest Jaclyn Hill lipstick which was released not that long ago. I've not worn it yet as you can see, but as far as I can see, it is a gorgeous plummy brown sort of colour, perfect for all skin tones. This one feels very matte. But it could be because my lips are so dry from the constant rubbing of with a tissue to get those colours on or off. It looks like this. To be fair, it does feel a lot like doll, um, all dolled up and um, the other one, nude. But I really like this. It's not as dark as I thought it would be for some reason. It's very nice as a kind of daytime sort of shade. And then obviously you can amp it up by putting on a little bit of lip gloss. 1995. Not bad, eh? And last but not least is the deep vampy one. This one is called Cherry Cordial. Again, similar sort of texture. A gorgeous burgundy, deep plum reddish kind of shade. 
very nice and vampy. Obviously, another thing you need to bear in mind is normally when I put lipstick on, and like a lot of people do, you've got, already got lip balm on your lips and you've just dabbed it off. So application is always a lot easier than somebody who's got scabby lips right now that didn't have them in the beginning of the video because I've reapplied and reapplied lipsticks again and again and again. So just bear in mind that when you do apply these with a little bit of lip balm underneath, just kind of dabbed off, the application is effortless. Oh my god, you so need lip liner with shades like these. I'm making a mess. I'm so not keeping within the lines of my lips. Yep, yeah, same sort of texture as the others. Reminds me a lot of Living Legend by MAC, which is some a new uh, one of the new matte lipsticks, which I think you can still get. But really, really gorgeous. So that's all five of the lipsticks that I bought. And that's it really, so that was Cherry Cordial and these were the lipsticks by Gerard Cosmetics. I give them two thumbs up. I would give them, I'd say, an eight or nine out of ten. I definitely think that these are worth purchasing. Uh, make sure you take advantage of free shipping codes, free other codes, free discount codes, bundles that they do. Their lip glosses as well are absolutely amazing. I, have, I really, really like them a lot and layering them on top of these just looks perfect so yeah so i hope that you enjoy this video this review these swatches these hauls follow me on instagram where i posted these lipsticks when i bought them so you can always see in advance you can see pictures of me wearing them before i get a chance to do a video etc other than that i hope you're all great i hope your december is going well i am now going to go and watch the hobbit film the third one the five armies yeah well by the time i post this video we'll see Anyway, I hope that you're all great and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.